Hey everyone, Jessica Cabasi here. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a portrait edit of this photo that I took. And, you know, I'm just gonna dive right in there, waste no time. Uh, the first thing that I'm gonna do is start retouching her skin. And as you can see, I already have my folder laid out. I'm gonna be using frequency separation. I have a bunch of tutorials on this, so if you wanna check them out, uh, I will have links to those and you can see how I do it. But for now, I'm gonna just go ahead and start retouching. Now I'm going to get straight into the color editing and the first thing that I want to do is just color tone this. I see that, you know, her nose is a little red just because it was so cold outside that day. So what I do is I go command shift on and make a new layer. Oh, almost spelled that wrong. That's embarrassing. Uh, what I like to do is just sample an area of skin close by. See this brown color? And I go from normal to color. I use just a regular fluffy round brush. Opacity is around 22. And I just add in the color to kind of match the rest of her face. And there's a million ways to do this. Some people do a full curves um, layer on top of here for, tone, for toning and color correction. But I just like to correct that just one area, that one area, as you can see fixes it up pretty nicely, I think. So now that that's over with, I can go ahead and start adding the, the tones and the colors. So I'm gonna go to layer, new adjustment layer, and then curves. And to begin, I'm gonna add very slight adjustments and contrast to this image. And I like to get started with a base and then just add on later. Oh, whoa, it's like not letting go, okay. It's kind of like Jack and the Titanic, like, I'll never let go. Wait, no, that was Rose. That was messed up, Rose. Okay, so we're going to go from RGB to red. And for the next couple layers, we're going to actually keep the same um, curve shape. So it's a six-point curve. I believe it's six points. Memory serves me right. And it's going to be like a little dip. For, no, don't quote me on that because I'm bad at constellations. So it's going to be this type of shape. It's looking a little wonky right now. But we shall fix it. So it's going to be this kind of shape. And we want the shape for all the layers, so for all the colors, red, green, and blue. So we're going to do that same curve for all three. This one goes right in the middle at this point. And it's going to look pretty ugly to begin, but it will become less ugly as time goes by. Kind of like my transition like from middle school to high school, college. I got like less ugly. <laughs> yeah, these are my tutorials, you guys. This is what I talk about. Might as well talk to you guys about something interesting, right? Okay, <laughs> my ugliness. Okay, and then we're going to go to blue. And we do the same thing. And I'm trying to get these like on point how I had them previously so I can show you what I had in mind. And I think that's looking kind of good. Yep, that looks pretty good to me. And look at that color, the popping of the color, the contrast. I really like how this looks so far. Um, one thing that I am going to do is go to layer, new adjustment layer, then vibrance. Just to kind of even out the, the colors. I'm just going to lower that saturation just a tiny bit. And you can always up the vibrance if you want. This is a trick that I do. I just lower the saturation, then higher the vibrance. Another layer that I'm going to do is another curves layer. So again, layer, new adjustment layer, then curves. And I'm going to make this one a little bit crazier like this, and then go from normal to luminosity. And if you intensify this curves layer, you can see that it really makes a huge difference to the photo. 
So I don't know, I like using luminosity. So that's looking pretty good. And I like to lower the opacity and the fill as well. And the last step that I'm going to do is layer, new adjustment layer, color balance, and hopefully, actually, this is the last step. I'm known to keep adding on layers. Like, I'll be here all night. Okay, so what I want to do is add a tiny bit of color, the reds and yellows, mostly. So I go from mid-tones to shadows. It's always tough to get the right coloring. I'll sit here and toggle through. As you can see, each little tab gets you a totally different look. So you want to like go through and test everything. So I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to lower the opacity. And what I like to do is just do like a run through of all the layers and lower any that I need to. Like I'm going to lower that first one that we just made. Okay, so I lied you guys. I want to add one more layer. I promise this is the last one. Layer, new adjustment layer, gradient map. Love these colors. They're neutral metal tones. And this one is a brownish, reddish, beige to a white. And I'm going from normal to soft light. And I'm just lowering the opacity. And this is just to give it like an extra bit of color. So that is it for this tutorial. I'm going to show you guys the before and after. So this is before and this is after. Hopefully you guys like this tutorial. Sorry I kept adding layers, but I'm really picky. This is how I usually edit stuff. I just keep adding things on, but I want to keep it a little bit simple. Let me know what you guys think, and if you have any other suggestions for future tutorials, thank you guys so much for watching.